Hey guys, John from Wisconsin Mill, so I'm here. Um, we're going to do a quick video review of the Arena Flatjack uh, Razorback Goggles. I got these off of evite.com for $30. Um, I was going to get the revisions, the Desert Locusts, but <clears throat> I did not have enough money. So I just went with these because I saw some good reviews. And I'm really proud of my purchase. Um, Glad I didn't spend the $60 because these have some fantastic goggles for only $30. So it comes in this nice, uh, I don't know what material it is, just some sort of a, feels like the stuff that's on the military bags, you know, the big uh, rucksacks, feels like that kind of material with a nice Velcro strap here. And the externals also in the pouch are belt. You could either put this on your belt, these two Velcro straps here. Or it is made for uh, the goggle strap so you can put it on the back of your helmet. All right, getting down to the goggles. Um, I didn't want to unbox it because, <clears throat> well, I was going to, but uh, it, well, it didn't even come in a box. It was just a plastic bag, so I didn't want to waste your time with that. Open this up. Your goggles come out of this pouch with clear lenses in them if you can see the little arena flak jack logo up there um they're really nice goggles they fit nice um they have some nice foam inserting all the way around here the only part i don't like is that your nose kind of gives a bridge between here and it's kind of uncomfortable um to adjust the straps there is these two plastic loops here just pull these and to actually remove this, or if you have to place it in a forward position, if you do wear a helmet, take these little side things, there's little tabs, if you can see here, one there, one there, flip it up, then here it reveals your strap, push it forward, take it up, same thing with the other side, pull it off, there's your goggles. Now there is some, I don't know if you could say, what's the word for it? Skepticism, skeptic, whatever, um, about this new anti-fog system. It is called the Razorback technology. And basically what it is, if here, this part right here, angled up like this, there is a part below it like that. So instead of venting straight down, it kind of goes down and then back this way. So if you can see, kind of looking in there, it's the opposite direction. So it's kind of like a V. Um, I did test these. I put a put them on my face, put a shimmer around it, and pulled the shimmer up over my whole nose and tucked the shimmer under here so it'd be completely goggles on top of the shimmer. <clears throat> and it did not fog at all. I'm sure if you went outside and played, it would fog a little bit. Um, but, you know, I usually don't cover my entire face with a shemog. Um, I usually just wear these with the shemog around my neck for the protection. <clears throat> Sorry, kind of got a cold a little bit. Um, getting down how to change the lenses, you would think it'd be tough because these look pretty strong. And although they are strong, it is like a rubber material. So to get the lenses out... Take, just take it. There's no tabs or anything. Just take it, pull it up, then take your lens out. And then they're extremely flexible. I mean, I like them a lot. These are nice goggles, real comfortable. Um, everybody was like, where's my smoked lens? Because it is told to come with a darker tint of a lens. But as you can see here, say this is the closed position of it. Then there's a tab here, right here, there. And there's your smoke lens. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm going to put some music on while I try to get these glasses into the goggles. Yeah.
stripe. Yellow paint. Them niggas scared of And not that bad. Pretty quick. <clears throat> Takes you a little bit to get it used to. These lenses do get some marks if you touch them a little bit. I mean, all lenses do, but these actually pick up a lot more dust and fingerprints. So just um, <clears throat> pick up some of the uh, revision uh, anti-fog cloths, regular dish cloth, whatever you want to do to keep the fogging up. Now let's go get some action shots with these. Actually, guys, I was a little too lazy to get some action shots and compile it in and edit it and all because I do have exams in this next week coming up so I don't really want to waste time with that but here's what they look like with the smoke lenses on and here's what the clear lenses look like 